Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be using the things that I already have in my home to do some DIYs. Now I actually have about four different items in my home that I've been using as my decor, but I'm just not happy with them. They're, they're things I look at and I want to change. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I transformed things I have in my home using the craft supplies I already own. Now, this is actually a collaboration. There are 13 of us YouTubers that are using the craft supplies that we have in our stash to make over or DIY projects. So be sure to check out the playlist linked down in my description box so you can see everyone else's ideas and the different creativity that they had using just the things in their home. So these are the items that I went around and collected from my own home decor that I want to make over. One is this lamp, including the lampshade. I've really never loved it. I am also um, going to be painting these candlesticks. I'm not a huge fan of the brown. It doesn't really go with my decor anymore. And I have this Pier 1 window hanging that I've had for so long and it actually got ruined being in storage and so a quick fix is i just took some paint and swapped it on there and it didn't it wasn't the right color it just looks horrible so i need to repaint this i also ended up adding one more that i'm not showing you here because last minute i thought about it and i want to use it and i'm going to be doing all of this with supplies i already have so for the window i'm just going to start with giving it a very light sand um, this probably wasn't necessary but i really just want to make sure that the paint adheres well And I am running out of white craft paint, so this is a great idea just to go grab some paint you have from an interior project in your home. So this is interior white paint, and I am just going to use it for several of the projects today. And I'm going to give this mirror three good coats of white paint. Now that the three coats are completely dry, I'm just going to take this sanding block and sand down every single one of the edges of this window to give it more of a worn look, basically bringing it back to the way it was when I first purchased this item. And here is the finished window. This was a super easy project, but it was so worth it because it looks new now. It was really, really destroyed before. And I am so glad that I took the time to just get it done and to bring this back to life. So next up is the candlesticks. Again, this is another super simple way to transform items in your home that you're not loving anymore. And I am again just going to use this white interior paint. And I ended up giving both of the candlesticks just one coat. So here it is after one coat, and I did have to touch up a little bit because I did tip them over so I can get the other side. I would love for you to vote. This is more of a whitewashed look because you can see the brown through it. Should I give it a second coat to make it solid, or I could even um, sand it down afterwards, or should I just leave it like this and kind of give it that whitewashed look? I think it's kind of like French country looking. So vote one or two. One is to leave it, two is to give it another coat of paint. So now onto the third makeover, it is going to be this lamp. 
Now, originally I did start with just using this white interior paint to cover the base, but I very quickly learned that this wasn't the best way to get in all of the little twists of the metal. It just wasn't gonna work. So I ended up taking it outside and giving it a couple of good coats of white spray paint. And while it was drying, I decided to take apart the lampshade. Um, this did not work out the way I had envisioned it, and sometimes that's just the way um, makeover and DIY projects go. I had thought that I would be able to pull this apart and separate the plastic um, lampshade from the fabric that covered it. There was no separating it. It was one solid piece for sure. So I just pulled it all apart and used um, the original lampshade to just be the base. Now, I am just going to use this scrap burlap that I have. I have been using this in several projects recently because it's just an old runner that I need to use up. And I'm going to use it as the outline for covering the old lampshade and giving it a burlap cover. And to attach it, I'm just going to be using some hot glue and working my way around the lampshade. Here is the final product of the lamp and the candlesticks made over. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this makeover. It was super simple and I had everything I needed already on hand. Now this was the one that I added in last minute. I bought this sign online because he lives and it has the him on it. And I've been, want, I've been trying to figure out what to do with it. I was just gonna order a frame, but then I realized I have this um, chalkboard sign from my daughter's wedding this past summer that it is stained. Like you can't get the Daniel and Mariah off of it. So I couldn't resell it. So I thought, why don't I just paint it black and use it as the backdrop for the hymn that I wanted to hang. And especially in times like this, I really, really want this on my wall. It's encouraging and I love this hymn. So this was again, just some um, black paint that was left over for my son making over a nightstand that he had. And I just decided to use it to give it um, a solid black. So it's not chalkboard anymore, but it's just a black base. And this is just regular um, interior wall paint, semi-gloss, and I'm going to give it three coats. Now that the paint is dry, all I'm going to do is use a regular old glue stick and attach this hem to the frame. I didn't want to use anything liquid because I don't want it to like wrinkle or bubble or anything like that. So I felt like a glue stick was the easiest way to attach it. Now I had thought about maybe adding a little bit of eucalyptus, the same kind of leaves that are on the sign to the corners, but I decided not to. I love it just the way it is. It's very simple and Again, this cost me nothing. It was stuff that I already owned. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out these other 12 ladies. They have done incredible stuff, I can guarantee you. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.